Hello and welcome, this is Daniel for Kalkine Media. On the 28th of March 2022, the Morrison government announced a $17.9 billion boost for infrastructure across Australia. The government has decided to roll a 10-year infrastructure investment pipeline which will increase from $110 billion to over $120 billion with investments in fresh and existing infrastructure projects across Australia. As part of their plan for a brighter future, the Australian government continues to capitalise on projects that create employment and keep travellers safe and moving, as well as develop Australian economic growth. According to the media release, key new commitments financed in 2022 and 2023 uh, in the budget involves $3.1 billion uh, worth of new commitments to provide $3.6 billion uh, to the Melbourne Intermodal Terminal Package. The funding includes $1.2 billion for the Beveridge Interstate Freight Terminal in Beveridge, $280 million for road connections, $740 million for the Western Interstate Freight Terminal in Truganina, and $920 million for the Outer Metropolitan Ring. The budget also contains extra financial support for the projects that are already existing and roads of strategic importance and corridors. This includes $2.26 billion for the North-South Corridor, $352 million for the Milton Ulladulla Bypass, $320 million for the Bunbury Outer Ring Road, $200 million for the Tonkin Highway Stage 3 extension and much more. In a statement, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said by capitalising on these projects, they will be delivering the infrastructure which the Australian economy needs to grow. Morrison also added that Australia's potential success relies on a strong economy. Their robust economic recovery is driven by their record financing towards major road projects across Australia. The investment in such infra projects will help create many direct and indirect jobs across Australia. On the other hand, Deputy PM and Minister for Infrastructure, Transport and Regional Development Barnaby Joyce said that the Australian administration is developing the infrastructure which would make the Australian economy much more robust. Please like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. This is Daniel reporting for Kalkine Media.